Okay, got it. Okay. <laughs> She's like, I wanted to see how long we could prolong this. It's like, hello, my name is Luke and I'm an advisor for K-Bikes TV. And here with me today, I have the four geniuses behind the Hiki no Winter Challenge for Hilo High School. Hello, everybody. Hello. hello. Where's your, I thought you were eating, Presley. <laughs> I see. Okay. Well, so here we have with us today, we have Nazarize Brown. Jasmine Gardner, a.k.a. Jazz. We have Jody Ortiz. And we have Presley Domingo. All right, so we asked a couple questions for you guys. Um, so to give some context to our audience members, the Hikino Winter Challenge basically gave four days um, over the weekend, and they're given a prompt at the very beginning of it. They're not, they don't know any of it prompt before that day, and each school who entered the challenge may enter a team of up to four students per team. They had to create a story within the four days, and that story must not exceed three minutes. Every interview and B-roll that is recorded must be shot within the four-day period. And here's the kicker. The teachers may not shoot, edit, or write any part of the story, but they may get their students' feedback. And so this weekend, we participated in the Hiki no Winter Challenge. And now we're here talking with the four students who are part of that challenge. All right, guys. So we'll begin with Jody first. What was your role in the challenge? I was uh, mostly post-production and pre-production and I helped out with editing. Okay, Presley, what was your role in this challenge? Uh, I helped uh, organize the AV shot list, create the voiceover dialogue, and helped uh, film B-roll and stuff. Excellent. Now Jazz, what was your role in this? Um, I helped uh, create the storyline and helped shoot uh, the B-roll that we used. Excellent. And Naz, what was your role in the challenge? I filmed the voiceover for the story. I also helped film Leilani's interview and got some shots for B-roll. Excellent, excellent. So, what was it like, this challenge, guys? Anyone can talk. It was some parts challenging. Yeah. Challenging we stressful. Yeah. We inter... Uh, what is it? Interpreted the uh, prompt wrong a few times until we actually got a clear mindset of what it was. Yeah, for those at home, the prompt was the wisdom of elders brought to life by the young. All right, so that was, let's go day by day. So day one, right? Beginning of the challenge. Did you have all day to work on this? No, no. we had after school. You only had after school. And yeah. the small periods between lunch, uh, one being lunch and recess. I see, yeah. Now, on that day, you're given the prompts. What was your thought process? What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what are they asking from us? Like, necessarily. Because it's kind of like a huge, like, variety of, like, what you can think and get out of this. But we kind of broke it down so that it would fit, like, what we have already, what we can work with. That was our... So what was your initial idea? What was your initial plan for the story? We tried to base it off culture, so we tried to make it surround around uh, Hawaiian or Japanese at first. Okay. So what led you to come up with Leilani's story? <laughs> Leilani walked in She was kind of in the room <laughs> when we were talking about the prompt. She came sat down next to us and we were like, hmm, Kumava. She's not really like, she's one of the teachers here. And then... We're like, ooh, Leilani, you're her student. Did it take much convincing? No. Yes. We had, we no, had to try. Yes. We had to try and convince her brother. That was uh, one of oh, the main problems. Yeah. Oh, her brother, yes. But we still weren't able to. I see. So what did it take to produce the video? A lot of troubleshooting. Yeah. Such as? Finding Not having the right person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we tried to replace Leilani's brother with Presley. <laughs> oh shoot, should I say that? <laughs> Too late now. <laughs> well, all that matters is that you guys attempted to use it as a placeholder in hopes that 
Leilani's brother would have a change of heart, but clearly he did not. Mm -hmm. Right? So what was the challenge now? She talked about her brother in the story. How did you visually tell a story other than um, using her brother as a visual storytelling? Presty? Uh, well, I mainly based the B-roll off the words after of having sense of place, so like location to school. And then she mentioned where he hangs out, so we filmed out first patio. And uh, where else did it go? I don't remember now. Oh, she talked about uh, him after post high school. So we went to Miss Frieda's offices to find like scholarship contracts or whatever, and uh, like internship papers. Mm, very good, yeah. Looking at the video at the end, because you didn't have your brother, you really were able to establish that sense of place, right? Using the mural, using the um, Leilani, looking at it, right? Seeing parts of it, referencing Hilo itself. Yeah, and also showing the school and also referencing. Because yeah, Leilani in her interview did mention like, oh yeah, he hangs on the first patio. School is much more than that. Yeah. So what kind of skills did you have to use this weekend? We had to get creative and like try to think outside of the box and see what else we could do to troubleshoot our like difficult problems. What other skills do you have to use this weekend? Um, mainly what we already knew, half of the stuff, and also trying to remember stuff that we may have learned like previously of how to fix things. We used that, your knowledge that you taught us to our advantage. <laughs> so, <laughs> any, type of, any type of training that we had with cameras and shots, we tried to use that inside of our production. Now, now, what new skills or refinements have you learned? Maybe shot list is helpful. Maybe <laughs> shot yeah. list is very helpful when you're trying to do this type of video work. Transcripting. Right. Tell me about that, transcripting. What was the process like for that? I remember in a previous Hikino training that they wanted me to record <laughs> their video and send it into this software to be transcripted. And then you can highlight all the golden pieces that you want to be placed into the video. And from there, I just sent it to Presley and Presley would find it for me and I would just throw it inside the video to edit. Did it help you reshape the narrative? Mm -hmm. We highlighted key points that Leilani talked about. And we used that for the actual Hikino video. So how many times did the narrative change then? <laughs> Multiple. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Multiple times. Three to five times, possibly. Uh, like, also a lot of reorganizing of how it fit together. Yeah. Also. It changed, it shaped from like, from a letter to plants and stuff from Elderly to Leilani, just talking about her teacher. So what do you think about this four-day challenge? Was that the right amount of days? It's... Yeah, I think so. I feel like we did good. We did really good. Four four days. Three. <laughs> so do you think that if we were able to utilize more students and crew from our KVCB program, would that have been helpful? Yes. Yeah. I think it would be helpful because everybody has a different like creative thinking. So maybe we could have come up with a different idea uh, for the storyline uh, to just and also to help create more like ways of uh, visualizing instead of just words. <laughs> So, please share with us your favorite memories from the whole weekend. 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven runs. That gave us motivation. Oh my that god, gave that us was hope. our food support for the past four days. Support. We new got energy. energy. <laughs> we discovered a new energy drink. Oh my god. It, it was key. I, you found I like enlightenment. It. Yeah. Corona. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Luke kind of gave up on us. <laughs> <laughs> Luke also fell. I mean, he got stuck. Yes, he got stuck. Didn't Pressy fall? Yeah, Pressy yeah, fell. Yeah, Pressy fell, fell, but you got yeah. stuck under the table. You, you got stuck. Oh, yeah. I remember. Stuck? We were. Yeah, I remember. We, you were trying like, to show like us how. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did get stuck. Even the you last, got stuck. The last we all got yeah, stuck I at least once. Yeah. We also got trapped outside because we were trying to make. Oh, that was Nas's fault. Yeah, that was Nas. That's dirty. To give some context to those who are watching, uh, basically, I left to go talk to another teacher <laughs> on a different part of campus, and I come back and I see these four homeless people sitting in the room, and then I say, "What are you guys doing?" And they all turn around, and they have like duck faces. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty incredible. So. So how what was your energy like then from the beginning to the end? What what was you? What, how are you guys feeling by the end of the challenge? Dead. Ooh, there was a picture of us. <laughs> <laughs> Me, Jody, and Presley. Sleeping. Oh yeah, that's right. I went home early. I was I had enough. <laughs> like, I was like okay. Yeah. Typically, we we've gone gone through much more longer days broadcasting, right? Like remember the all the different uh, like winter competitions or tournaments basketball right we stayed till like 10 11 o'clock at night for four days in a row right and we weren't but yet for some reason at this challenge not doing full-on broadcasting just coming with the story of editing you guys just are wiped out strange right like it made me realize that because like, i realized that man I, I don't know why i felt more tired working on this when i wasn't doing anything <laughs> right <laughs> I tried to clean up the office sometimes, no. Um, compared to like actively like saying, next shot, next shot, what's next, what's next, right? So it's, it's really interesting. So should others do this a kind of challenge too in the future? Yes, yeah. definitely. It was if, a great if you want to do like video work as a career, I think this is a good experience, especially learning how to work with other people, sending different parts of the project to each other to create one thing. Yeah. Do so you think for Cave Vikes, should we continue to do storytelling like this for, on, for, on our own? Yes. yes. It builds team. It builds, like, you know, teamwork and people learning to get along with each other. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I laughed. Like, <laughs> it's like, do you guys feel like you're all one uh, much more closer to each other now? Yeah. 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 Spending four days, three days together. It's like, yeah. It builds a team. Awesome. Yeah. It was a strong team. Yeah. Yeah. I think we got to know Presley a lot more, cause I know the three of you pretty well, cause we associate all the time at live streams, right? And Presley sometimes, like even at the live streams, just you know he's like neat, <laughs> right? and just like sit. But like, I think we actually got to see, like, so sorry, yeah, sorry, Presley, I'm talking to about you in front of you, but like the really, um, it was really interesting to see just how like. Uh, we got to appreciate your sense of humor. We got to appreciate um, your thought process, right? And to see just how we can all work together, yeah. And so, I think we did pretty well. What do you guys think? I think we're, I think we're gonna win. I, think I we're believe. Both. I really think we're gonna. I'm with believe. Julie. We believe. We I think believe. we did really good. We're really. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's. <laughs> Well, going up against uh, other schools like YK High School, YK Elementary School, um, let's see. I don't know if Intermediate did it. I didn't even, I checked the list of names, but I do know that this challenge is being done statewide by many different schools, not just public schools, private and charter schools as well. Yeah. So we're in it. Yeah. This is the first time we've done a challenge in a long time. Right. The last thing that we submitted to Hikino was Jody's profile. Right. And before that was the how to. Uh, have a successful job interview and before that we had like the Hilo High School had amazing stories before like a homeless student um, b-boy dancing we won't talk about that one we also were home base back in 2011 right uh, season one and this year they're thinking again they're asking us to home base again so that's pretty cool so just want to say congratulations on a job well done any final comments thank you Good job. Um, <laughs> we probably wouldn't have gotten through it without like each other and your help. So. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I say we love it, yes. Sponsor us. <laughs> We're never going back there again. But <laughs> well, that's all the time we have left. So thank you very much for watching our video, our recap video. If one of these students 
Last year, if their video wins, one of these lucky students gets to go up to Oahu, hopefully, and record the special Winter Challenge Higino episode. So we'll get to see who gets to go up. Unfortunately, one of them isn't eligible, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much for watching, and tune in next time for the next episode of I Don't Even Know What This Is Called. Bye! Nikki, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Um, it feels honoring because I understand how much this challenge means to these four people that I've worked with in the past. Or Wacker. You know, just come over here real quick. Ready? <laughs> <laughs>